If you look at why organizations are struggling today, there's a few reasons. But the most important one is that the size, the scale, the sophistication, the scope, and the severity of the attacks that we are facing as a, as a civilization have just gone up by orders of magnitude in the last three years. Hi, my name is Shailesh Rao, and I'm president of the Cortex Division here at Palo Alto Networks. The pace of these attacks is growing at an unprecedented rate. That's just putting tremendous amount of burden on organizations all over the world. And our focus at Palo Alto Networks is to make sure that we bring the best of machine learning, AI technologies to help these organizations deal with this flood of attack. So what artificial intelligence and the latest advances with machine learning and AI are doing is really helping companies of all sizes to become more efficient, to become more productive, become faster. But the downside of AI is that people can now use these technologies to create attacks faster, to propagate these attacks faster. So what we're doing at Palo Alto Networks is taking advantage of all of the data and all of the sensors that we have across everybody, across the network, across the endpoint, across the cloud, and bringing together a consistent, fully integrated platform that takes advantage of the latest developments in AI and machine learning to make companies as secure as they can be. In general, regulations, I think they start out with very good intentions, and so that's what I see with DORA, too, with Dora and NIST 2 as well, specifically here in Europe. Some of these regulations will force every company to take a look at their cybersecurity posture, and these are all good developments, and I think it'll bring everybody on the same page. The role of telcos cannot be understated because at the end of the day, depending on the services you provide, you might be the most critical part of the company's connection to the internet. We live in a completely connected digital world, so I can't imagine how the telco can't be an important part of the company's cybersecurity journey.